Hi, I'm Ryan McDonald, standing in for Jeff Kirschman, who can't be with us today. The original Ape Escape was released for the PlayStation back in 1999, without much fanfare. The game was a great platformer that was very charming, but rarely flashy, and would eventually find its place in history as a sleeper hit. The sequel sticks very close to the blueprint laid out by the original game, but don't mistake its light on innovation design for weakness. This PlayStation 2 game is every bit as solid and even more charming than the previous two games. Ape Escape 2 puts you in the role of Hikaru, the cousin of Spike, who was the original protagonist from the first game. Unaided, Hikaru can do very little. He can double jump, lay flat, and pretend to be asleep, but most of his moves come from a wide array of gadgets that he carries. Most of these gadgets appeared in the first game. Your main monkey catching tools are a stun club and a net. The idea is to whack the monkeys with the club, knocking them over, then quickly switch to the net to scoop the monkeys up and whisk them away to safety. As you make your way through the game, you'll find more and more gadgets and, and fun stuff to play with. Returning from the original game are such tools as the monkey spotting radar dish, the swimming helper aqua net, the speed boosting dash hoop, the slingshot, an RC car, the helicopter like sky flyer, and ever popular magic punch. The game also features three new gadgets. The banana ring is a banana shaped boomerang that can be used to knock over enemies. Another new tool is a water can, which is mostly used to put out fires. The third gadget introduced in Ape Escape 2 is the electromagnet that lets you move heavy metal objects. Overall, the game throws quite a few puzzles at you, but solving most of them is fairly easy as figuring out which gadget is it to use in a certain situation. The game's control is also a breeze to figure out. Ape Escape was the first game that required use of the DualShock controller. Ape Escape 2 mimics that control using the DualShock 2 almost identically. The overall object in Ape Escape 2 is to catch monkeys, 300 monkeys to be exact, though you can finish the game with a significantly lower number. Catching monkeys is as simple as finding them and netting them, though the wide array of monkeys requires you to use a bit of tact as you play. Some monkeys aren't alert enough to notice you sneaking up behind them, making them easy marks. Throughout the game you'll encounter a bunch of these easy monkey targets, but some of them actually put up a fight. You'll fight ninja monkeys, night monkeys, oozy toady monkeys, and even fire breathing monkeys. The game breaks it down ever further by placing a few more specialized monkeys in there as well. There are enough different monkeys in the game to make you feel like each one has its own personality. The boss battles further this by putting you up against monkeys in the forms of unicycle bikers, J-pop singers, and even superheroes. Eventually you'll run up against Spectre, the white-haired monkey leader who was also the first antagonist in the original game. Ape Escape 2 might not push more polygons than the other PlayStation 2 platform games out there, but that doesn't mean it doesn't look good in its own right. The player and monkey models have a neatly stylized look to them. The game runs at a smooth frame rate and features some really nice animation, especially from the game's cast of monkeys who hop and shuffle around to create great comedic effect. The environments are large and lush, ranging in design from ice-filled caverns to deserts, beaches, and indoor settings such as dojos, pyramids, and castles. The soundtrack fits the whimsical action nicely, keeping things as upbeat and hyper-tempo as any recent J-pop album. The game's voices are all in Japanese, but the voices fit the models pretty well. While Ape Escape 2 has the gameplay and graphical style down pretty well, it isn't without its own flaws. The main issue is that much of the game is quite easy. Anyone skilled at judging platform jump distance shouldn't have any trouble at all. The game's boss fights consist of pattern recognition at its most basic. Thankfully, though, there are a few things in there to challenge expert players. Collecting all 300 monkeys isn't required unless you want to see the best ending in the game. And a handful of the optional monkeys are extremely well hidden, so finding them is, is pretty tough. The game's relative ease is pretty well offset by the sheer number of weird unlockable items, and the end result is a platform game that is, above all, great fun. Although recent rumblings point to a September release in Europe, Sony Computer Entertainment America hasn't made any firm announcements about a U.S. release for Ape Escape 2 yet. Considering the company has two domestically developed platformers in the pipe for this year, Sly Clipper as well as Ratchet and Clank, it'd be unsurprising to see Sony drop the ball and fail to release this fantastic game itself. Thankfully, even if Sony or another third-party company doesn't put the game out in the U.S., the game doesn't require much reading or knowledge of the storyline, making it easy to fumble through and reasonably import-friendly. I'm Ryan McDonald for Jeff Gershman. Thank you for watching.